Boom! What up, Solar Connected on the air back doing some more League of Legends action. We are playing some Crocodile Man in the top lane. We don't have bone plating, huh, bud? Okay, sweet. Yeah, we're playing some Renekton in the top. And we're going for a build that I saw Khan doing this morning in LCK. So it's just going to be, again, still Black Cleaver plus Essence Reaver. But the cool thing is going Steric's Gauge. After the new Steric's change from last patch, well, it was a nerf. It was a nerf at the synergy between... Uh, oops, that was a second off. It was a nerf at the synergy between Triforce and Steric's, which was kind of a little bit OP at the time. Because getting Steric's would buff Triforce damage, and you get like a 400 damage proc of Triforce, which is actually absurd. So they made it so it's no longer... Ooh, give me that free damage. They made it so it's no longer... Uh, giving you a bone, or sorry, it's no longer giving you base AD, it's only giving you bonus AD. Which is really good, because Renekton wasn't getting any value out of the uh, base AD, because all he could use that on was his W, because his W is a total AD ratio. Your Q and E are bonus AD ratios. Base AD is not bonus AD. Ooh, missed a cannon though, that sucks. So yeah, now the new Sterex works on both your Q and your E, and then it works really well with the Essence Reaver Black Cleaver build, because you're rushing two essentially damage items. I mean, Black Cleaver has a little bit of HP on it, but again, basically two damage items. Wow. Did I die? Okay. At least we're getting a jungle camp, though. The fuck? Can you please walk over there and get a free kill? Okay. Thank you. I mean, it would have been nice to get it and have an assist there, but hey, we could do. I mean, I could have flashed for that, but yeah, really didn't think I was going to need to. Was waiting for minions. I mean, minions were literally under tower. <laughs> what do you say? I asked if you had W. I mean, I didn't read chat. All right, boys. So that sucked. Rest in peace. Death to the singe. Guys, like one HP. Okay. This wave's shoving out to me. So it should be fine. He's no CS either. Yikes. It's never fun to die in lane. I wish I got the assist for that, though. Missing out on that gold kind of sucks. Because I could have bought, like, uh, an extra longsword. I have to be careful here, because they're just going to gank with Goofball. So I just got to wait for this wave to push out. It's not a big deal. I'm still up a ton of CS here. Got that minion. 21 to 14, and I have this, like, double wave stacked up. Yeah. Should be okay. Just sucks. Poor. Play. Wow, you do a shitload of damage, bud. Whew. Oh, tower shot randomly? Thank you. Ooh, that sucks. I'm gonna all in right here. For sure. I don't think he can stay in lane. What is he buying? He has like no items. Mid's getting ganked? He's definitely leaving here. No, he's ganking mid, huh? Good TP. He's just gonna miss a ton of minions again. I'm gonna be up so far on this guy. I don't. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, don't buy that, Mike. Hello. Go on Black Lever first. I'm wondering if he tries to... Hmm. See what he does here. There's his passive. Nice. That's good for me. I want a Q before I get the Fury. Oh, I didn't see the poison. Lame. What? There's no reason not to just double dash away. I don't have Q, so I don't want to get flipped. So just double dash away, take that free trade. Easy peasy, pop in the Conqueror mark. We good. And again, I want a Q before I get to 50. Come on! There we go. Got the R, beautiful. I was just waiting for him to walk up again. Oh my god, a stupid ass passive, man. That shit's so annoying. <laughs> Any other champion is getting stunned right there. Lame. All right. Oh, I'm just going to keep pushing. He is not doing well last hitting under tower. 
Keep pushing, baby. And the other reason, I think I died before I explained it, but the other reason, uh... Ooh. Brother, I have Conquer and a bunch of... <laughs> I have Conquer up and a bunch of Fury. He can't stick around like that. You're way too squishy. If he activated R right as I went in, maybe he would live. Because he'd get some armor, but... Yeah. I mean, I had ult and everything. It wasn't like I was at a risk of dying or anything there. Easy peasy. Get that conquer going. Kill him. That's it, baby. Alright, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, I can't get that cannon minion. That sucks. But, just gonna back up. Uh, probably gonna teleport back top here. And again, like I said, going for Black Cleaver, Essence Reaver, Sterix Gauge. Maybe I can finish explaining the Sterix Gauge. <laughs> Seems like every time I about to get in like a fight or something. But yeah, as a third item and our only defensive item, it's really solid. Because it gives us good defenses against everything, right? Normally on that first defensive item, you kind of have to look and see who's the most fed, right? So if the most fed's an AD guy, you build an armor item. Well, that armor item is not efficient against someone who does magic damage, right? Or true damage, right? So if you go uh, Sterix Gauge, it gives you Burst Protection, which you're going to get bursted because you don't have a lot of defenses, right? So it gives you Burst Protection because that's like guaranteed to proc. So it makes you less, li less likely to die and just allows you to spam the hell out of all of your spells. And remember, I I'm going... Uh, I'll show you right now. I'm going uh, Ravenous Hunter as well. So Ravenous Hunter gives our abilities uh, lifesteal, basically. Spell Vamp. So that, plus Essence Reaver, when we're spamming that thing out constantly. I'm right here. You need to get over. You might get EQ'd. They have more people here than us because Vlad's not moving. Okay, we should be okay. I want to stay here because there's a pink. want to defend it. Alright. It's awkward. Walk away. Alrighty. Yeah, he doesn't really want to trade at all. He's just trying to clear his wave back up. Regen. Clear his wave back up. Regen. Oh! He's got ult. Not worth though. I just want to shove him under tower. And again, I'm going to Q. I'm going to Q before I get that full fury. And he's taking the pink, but I really don't give a shit. That's why I don't buy pinks like that, dude. I'm not going to waste my time running over there and losing minions to fight him. Seems stupid. Oh. That guy has no HP, bro. I am super down for this fight. Please try and gank me. Please try and gank me. Could I have a gank, please, sir? If that guy tries to gank me, I'll literally kill him in a W. Jarman is so squishy. <laughs> what is... I think he's gonna actually back here. Ooh, Jarman's ganking mid. I wanna pressure him on the tower, but... It's difficult, because he can get a goo fling. I'll take it, nice little trade. I'll black cleaver soon. Once I get that, everything should be much easier. I'm fine just constantly pushing him in, though, because he gets, like, no presence on the map. Which is exactly what I want. Drop a Q here. Sweet. And a dragon. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Oh, my conqueror just fell off. Just gonna walk away here. I can go in after he does that. Champion's so boring to play against, man. I hate it. I can't wait for them to nerf it, man. It's so annoying. Such a resident sleeper champion. Whew. He just never runs out of mana or anything. He never runs... It's just really dumb. He can just stay in a lane forever. It's like, alright, well... <laughs> Give him, I don't know. I just hate his ultimate. Just way too many free stats. That's pretty much a problem every single time it happens. You give a champion way too many free stats. Like Camille when she first came out. Every ability that she had gave her some sort of free stat. Boom, you eat someone. Here's a billion percent attack speed. I'm like, it's like, what the hell? Oh, you autoed someone? Here, here's a 30% shield. Like, wait a second. This might not be uh, smart. <laughs> That's what it always is. When champions get like way too many raw stats. Like, pretty much Aatrox right now is the definition of that. That champion is complete doo-doo. But item synergy, for some reason right now. Not for some reason. Just item synergy. Is the reason. Made him like pretty solid right now. Miz getting ganked too. I just push here.
I mean, I agree with the rework of Aatrox, but I don't know. I like his playstyle right now, to be honest. But I get it. It's literally just like a stat stick. If you are strong enough, you can play this. Like, he's just really good with the items. Uh, this guy's trying to come top and stop me. I really don't think he can stop me. I think he's over here. Yeah. If Kane doesn't see him, it... let me through! If Kane doesn't see him, it means he's over here. Ugh. Calm it down, buddy. That was not a good idea, boys. Goodbye, sir. Easy peasy. Let's go. Woo. That's what happens when you try and fight me. I mean, that's why he's not been fighting me all game. <laughs> Most Sinjas just try and proxy. I don't really know why he's not proxying. I've been playing against a lot of high elo Sinjas lately. And they literally will, once they lose the lane, not lose the lane, but you, there's like a timing where you just walk around here and you catch the wave. I don't know the exact timing because I don't play Singe. But they do it to me all the time, and they just literally can proxy me at any point. They see the jungler on the other side of the map, boom. This one's the worst one, too, because they just come here, bloop, go right there. Very annoying. Very annoying. So let's go for that Essence Reaver next, and then the Steryx Gauge, like I said. Okay. Bloop. Get that. Uh-oh. I'll teleport. Is he okay? EQ ult. Q's out. I'm coming here. Auto Q, baby, let's go. Here. This should be an easy follow. Uh... Here you goof. What are you doing? Get out of the fucking way! Oh my god. Are you okay, dude? I'm gonna ping the shit out of you. Hello? What the fuck? I get on the spot. All he has to do is hit it. I'm expecting him to hit it because he's lined up ready to hit it. All he has to do is hit it, and then he doesn't. He fucking moves. And then I get body blocked trying to get it. And God damn it, dude. Get out of the way. You're too thick, Brom. You're too thick. <laughs> this fucking guy. I love it. There might be more people here. I gotta be a little careful. I really just want to uh, get my item back. How much is it to buy it right now? Eight? Oh my god, it's so cheap once you get these two components. I always forget. I love it. Alright, let's back get it right now. We're at a huge power spike. We're not gonna get three huge power spikes with this build, obviously. And it's pretty obvious when he gets those. When he completes the item. I mean, it's pretty standard stuff, but... I mean, Renek can just spike so hard with this just because of how, uh, how good he's, his kit synergizes with it. And then the spike here is even better because it buffs how good this item is. Both, like, they just synergize together. They're synergizing with this as well. Just your whole kit is just kind of perfect. For this build. And then like I said. Steric's Gauge is going to add 76 AD. That now works on our Q and E. Whereas it. Yeah, that was not smart brother. Yeah you can't pull for free like that. In front of somebody. And then stick around. That's never going to end well. I'm going to try and get top lane. Ooh, please don't die. I'm kind of near. Figure there's a ward somewhere over here. Yeah. Ooh, Nami. Weird spot. I see her. I'm coming here. Is she in this bush already? Nope, she went over this wall. Nami, no! Ah, oh, I couldn't see her, dude. I knew she was gonna cast it right there too. What happened to my homie Kane? Oh, I went mid lane. Sin just annihilated my team right now. Nami's right behind me. She's like right here. Not gonna get anything other than just tower, maybe. Wave's not even here, though. Dragon. Infernal. 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 Yas. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, and I don't know if I explained this before, because I've done this video, like, two times now. I've had two, like, super instinct teams. But, yeah. So. <laughs> before, since, uh, the old Steric Cage used to give you base AD, and that's why it worked with Triforce. 
This time, uh, now it gives bonus AD. So base AD never worked with your Q and your E. It only worked with your W. Your W is a total AD ratio, and your Q and your E are bonus AD ratios. There's two things in this game. There's bonus AD and base AD. Base AD is what you get per level. So every level you get a little bit of base AD. Dif champs have a different amount that they get per level. Everybody gets it. Bonus AD is stuff that you buy. So I get 40 AD here, that's bonus AD. I get you know, 70 a AD here, that's bonus AD, right? Now these only, go these only have ratios, so that 129 number you see, all those orange numbers that you see, those ratios are bonus AD. Your W is total AD, so it's base plus bonus, that's total. There we go, I think I finally explained it right. <laughs> there we go, that one was pretty smooth. My team is all dying right now, oh my god. Let's go, guys. Good luck. Jarvan Flash EQ'd in there. We got a, dra or a tower. I want to rotate. I push before I do it, obviously. I'm running the safe way, which is probably stupid because I'm ahead of this guy. He's right here. Oh! Look how fast he is! Oh my god. Oh, they're all going to stay super far away. I can make a big play on them, but I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity. I can annihilate them. I have Flash right now. Oh, he's gone. Ugh, that sucks that they didn't play aggressive. If they kept going forward on the Vlad, I think they spotted me because of the Singe, obviously. But, if they kept going forward, man, that was the easiest triple I'd ever seen in my life. Hey, dude. You just steal that from me, you big jerk? What the hell? Alright. Oh, boy. Can't auto anybody. I can't get my E on the lower cooldown. No. Oh. Jarvin's coming mid. Yeah. I, I really was thinking about doing a play, but you know Jarvin's back. You know Singe's back. Let's not be dumb here. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I have any mods on today, boys. Who am I banning? Let me know. Okay, let's get back out. Bow, bow, bow. Gracias. Everybody's spamming the same name, so I know I know it's real. Boom! Problem solved. Moderating my own channel. Let's go, baby. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, I got him, guys. <laughs> Ooh, we can fight them. What happened there, bud? This is confusing. They have three people bot lane right now. I think they're gonna try and force this tower. I mean, they definitely can't do it if I'm here. They see me right now. All right, never mind. They're just pushing the wave. Ooh, team needs a backup in mid. Vlad playing careless. Not respecting the Singe. Singe runs at a thousand movement speed, flips him. Yeah, I'm not teleporting into that. We have Braum in top lane right now, and our jungler isn't there either. Just not a good place to go. I'm just gonna push this wave and probably leave. No! Gotcha. Alright, Singe is coming back top. Uh, the jungle could be here. I don't know why Braum is top lane right now. I'm really confused. He's like AFK farming top. I don't know. Dude, what is happening right now? My team is hard inting. Hello? Please stop. That'd be sweet. They're gonna try and fight me in the jungle. Yeah. Not this time, punk. They're actually rotating the people that were mid too. So I gotta be real safe here. I think I might just back. There's nothing to do on the map right now anyways. Whew. Yo, girl, drink drunk. Appreciate ya. Thanks for the 10 months, dude. Ban hammer. Bringing it down on him. <laughs> Yo, FPS coach. Appreciate you. Welcome as well. Echo Light. Welcome as well. Appreciate you guys. Welcome to Crocodile Crew. Hope you enjoy your stay. Manual. Thanks for the 100 biddies. Cyber. Thanks for the sub as well, my friend. Appreciate you guys. I, I can TP. I'm looking. We have two Infernals, right? Oh my god. And a third one's coming up. 
It's gonna be so good. I need 1100 for my item. Get it, boys! And get Scuttle. Go, oh, go! Press your Q key, dog! Oh my god, man. Can't catch these people. No! I can't catch these people! Does that count? It does! I got TDR off of that. Bro! What the fuck? I can't get him! Oh my god. I got body block again, dude. I'm too fucking thick. This crocodile, way too thick. Let's not watch that way and die, boys. Okay. That was awkward. I had my W already activated trying to catch Tsunami, but I couldn't catch her. My W was still activated, so I used R and then W. That's really important to do because your W is the auto attack thing that's reducing all of your uh, cooldowns, right? So if you don't W, this is such a bad idea, dude. We're literally going to lose this fight. We just chill. Oh, God. Literally getting shit on by this guy. All right, let's bail. Whew. That's weird. How about all coming back up? Oh, that's bad. You need to go for this guy. We don't really have another choice. Yeah. Good job, boys. I think we can fight. I feel like we can fight. Essence Reaver, bitch! Yeah, fuck him. Let him die. <laughs> Screw this prom, dude. He can go right around. We're gonna get our third Infernal. That's way better. Essence Reaver, boys! Shit's OP. Shit is OP. Stolen? Get annihilated? I might go top so I can get uh, this plus my boots. The god. <laughs> JK. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Calm it down, Lucian. Calm it down. Alright. I've killed everybody once, right? Oh, yeah. So we got 15%. That's really good. Honestly, if you want to go full damage with this, which I probably wouldn't advise, but after the Sterics, you can go, uh... I need marks, right? It's all knock-ups. Okay, never mind. Oh, we got the uh, guy. Nice. Sweet! So I got the build here. Oh, God. Teammate dying. All right, goodbye, friendo. Yeah, Singe is really fast. If you're not under tile, you're probably going to die. But yeah, so we have 357 AD right now. Trying to give them them, them stacks. Not stacks, tri uh, Targons. Dude, English is so hard, man. I've tried to explain the stacks thing like 18 times. <laughs> Alright, it should be fine down there. Okay, obviously, can I kill that? Ooh, Singe is like right here. This is awkward. Ooh. Came so close to killing everybody, dude. I just need like a half a second more. Not even. Ah, oh, the flip in the. Yeah, that sucked. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what we're trying to do here. Fuck, because I used my flash there too, which really sucks. They are fast, bro. Yo, can you stop? Jesus. Let's relax here, boys. Let's calm it down a bit. Hmm. It's probably more effective to get a cloth armor at this point. Okay. Oh, dude, that was so painful. I literally needed like a split second more. All my shit was back up off a of cooldown. I had like a whole nother rotation coming. If I just got that next Q off, it would have been enough healing. 
The problem is, if, honestly, if I didn't get ignited by Nami going into that, I would have killed them all anyways. Even with that whole trade, the way it went. Yeah, I'm here, dude. We should literally just fight them. Oh, boy. Oh, that's actually such a good ult. Lucian, what is you doing, son? <laughs> the hell? Uh, Baron? Uh, Baron? Uh, Baron? Uh, no. Uh, Baron? Here we go, boys. Let's, come. Let's do Baron. There we go. This guy's gonna go fight him. Hmm. All you have to do is just wait for it to end. Hit that. There you go. There you go. I'll finish. Alright. We got the... We got it. Not exactly the way I would have done it, but... Whatever. That's fine. I'll take it. We have three Infernals. That's looking good. That's looking good. Alright. Sweet. So I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to get, uh... This. And then I'll finish one of them. Because I want to have a little bit of mix. Because I don't have uh, any resist stats, really. I, I got a lot of HP. 2,500 HP plus my R. I'm level 15 right now. Once I get level 16, I get 750 off of it. But I'm getting 500 health off of it right now. So I'm at 3,000 health in a team fight, essentially. Plus all my healing. You got to factor that in, too. Because healing's then amplified by the resist stats that you have. And we heal them like crazy. Because I'm spamming spells out the entire duration of every fight. One annoying thing is I don't have flash up because I used it on that last fight, trying to make a big play. Honestly, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine with the play I made. If I realized I was ignited, maybe I wouldn't have went for it. Because I know I'm not going to heal enough. But that was so close, I feel like if it just went slightly different, I could have got them. All three of them. I got so much value out of my Sterix gauge there, though. That's like what I was talking about. This item is so efficient, gold efficient. It's already probably like, I don't know, 3,000 something gold efficiency without uh, the shield, which is pretty important because the shield's a big part of it. Uh, I want to hit this and get some fury. Let me pull it this way. Team's got to be careful. You got to be careful because Vlad's far away. Man, if I had flash, I'd, be, I'd kill their entire team right here. Oh my god, look at that. Flash RW, are you kidding me? I would kill everybody. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> that sucks. Ah, uh, we can take this. You just gotta go slow. And spread out. Good job. Nope, don't go that way. Just walk around. There we go. We can even do the dragon right there. Why would you walk that way, you goofball? It's guaranteed they're gonna engage on you. Damn, what's he hitting for? Hello? Yeah, we got like free Ocean Drake. So, might as well take it. I'm gonna go mid to cover. Just to make sure that they can't take anything. Because they have the inside track on us, basically. Like, they could all be here right now. But now they can't. Because we can defend here and then collapse with the other three. There's that level 16, baby. Beautiful. Uh, we can probably just push this mid lane tower. I get wards in jungle. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I always laugh when I see plays like this. Like, they have to back. They can't keep pushing. But a lot of times in lower elo, you see your whole team spam ping and you all run back. When in reality, you just push. You're taking more important objectives. You're getting a tier 3 outer. You're getting uh, inner towers here. Oh my god, the CC chain is fucking crazy, dude. Ugh! I can't even get my second rotation off, bro. Holy shit. My team got shit on by Singe. Feels bad, man. Whew. Just to fucking ignite every time, dog. Ugh, painful. If I, j I don't know, I'm just getting CC'd the entire time. They all focus me, all blow everything on me and get CC'd. If I'm not CC'd, I can do shit. It's like, I don't even need much more time, man. I need like a split second more just to get off like a couple more abilities and we're good. And we are good. I know I'm going in deep there, but 
We got a fucking knock up on the two backline people. I figured I could get in there, flash, do like a one shot on one guy and bail if I have to or snowball that. More likely snowball. But I get everybody super low and I don't kill anybody. And then I get CC'd and I can't get my second rotation off. Painful! Yo, Man Black 97, appreciate you, dude. Penthouse for the win. Thank you as well. Darken GSMG, appreciate you, dude. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew, guys. Hope you enjoy your stay. Fun Delicious Rex, appreciate you as well, buddy. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew. Ooh. That guy's gotta go. Ugh, I don't know, man. I definitely, like, went deep, but... Not gonna lie, I felt like my team would be a little bit better against uh, Singe. But they don't really do any anything to him. I honestly thought Braum would just hit him once, that they would stun him, and then they'd like kill him in the stun. But that's not correct. So, I could have just sat back and like fought him, and then waited for a better opportunity. The opportunity looked pretty good though. Ulted, Braum landed a very good ult on their two key targets. So I was like, man, I could flash in and do something good here. Oh my god, what? Was that from one tick? Or did the other guy hit him? I didn't see. Yeah, this is a bad spot to fight them. You don't want to fight in a choke point against Velkos. Oh, this is good. Fuck him up, dog. Oh, God. Oh, he got the support. Did one out. Please, it's one hit! Come on, team! No! How did we not kill him? He's one hit! Whatever. You're fucking EQ'd by Jarvin again. I can't finish my goddamn kills, dude. I just keep getting CC'd. It's so annoying. And it's all knockups, so it's not like, oh, bye, just get Merc Treads, dude. You'll be fine. It's all knockups, and Merc Treads don't reduce knockups. Tenacity doesn't reduce knockups. Reason being is, like, the knockups send you a certain distance high, and, like, that's the amount of time it takes you to fall. Like, it's like a mechanic in the game or some shit. I'm assuming it's probably very difficult to... Now, I don't know if this is the case, but I'm assuming it's probably very difficult to code that to have, like, okay, like, Janna knocks you up this high, right? But now, when you have 35%, uh, Janna knocks you up this high. When you have 75%, she knocks you up this high. Like, that, that's probably ridiculously, to ridiculously hard to code for each individual champion, for each individual thing, for each different individual type of uh, amount of tenacity that, that you could have. That's probably really hard to code. So I get it. What <laughs> fucking annoys me, dude. Just knocked up the entire time. They, they gotta stop putting so many knockups in the game. If you watched, like I was watching LCK this morning, it was a team comp with four knockups. Like you literally can't build anything against that. One guy's just gonna get CC'd the entire time. It's so annoying. Release me! Let me kill everybody. I'm powerful. Mine. Ooh. I need a ward here. Uh, Lucian's in a bad spot. Oh. This poor guy is literally doing nothing. <laughs> I didn't want to blow Essence Reaver right away on him. But he was like sitting there doing nothing. The guy ulted so he couldn't get inside of it. <laughs> I just sat there autoing him. W'ing him two times in like a matter of four seconds. I have my flash right now. Oh my god. Hello? Monka S, dude. Whew! I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. Man. I'm a little disappointed. Because there was like two plays where I could have killed their entire fucking team. But instead, I didn't get a single goddamn kill. <laughs> oh, man. If they just went slightly different. But whatever. It's fine. You can't always make the massive plays. But yeah, Essence Reaver is pretty busted, dude. I am super on board with this build now. The main reason why I wasn't necessarily going Essence Reaver every game, and there's a lot of games on my main account where I'd go like Black Cleaver into tank, 
Like if I get behind, I feel like going Essence Reaver is so weird because to get that third item, that third item feels so bad. Like that third tanky item when you're behind doesn't feel like it does anything, you know? Whereas in this build, it feels pretty damn powerful because this is good against everything. It gives 450 health, increases your offensive capabilities, right? Offense is a form of defense, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, or, by the way, we're also getting tenacity when the shield pops. So it's not like I don't have any tenacity. I do. It just it doesn't do anything to knock up, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so very good third item as a defensive item, as your only defensive item. And then obviously you can follow it up with the resist heavy items, right? So if we're against a full AD team, obviously we want a thorn mail after. If we're against, well, unless you have a bunch of crit, then you get uh, randomance. If we're against a full AP team, you know, visage, steric, or, visage or uh, adaptive helm is the way to go, obviously. But get that after the steric gauge. I'm really liking steric's third item. Like I said, the new change makes it do damage on the E and the Q, which is huge because we're also Eing and queuing a shitload of times. Because we have like no cooldowns, 40% CDR plus Essence Reaver. Pretty damn good. I think Vlad had a ton more damage, yeah. Vlad did good. I did good, but hey, what are you good to do, baby? Can't 1v9 them all, you know? Show Millionaire, appreciate you, buddy. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew, bud. But yeah, if you enjoyed the stream and you're watching on YouTube, make sure to drop a sub on the channel and like the video and turn on your notifications so you get alerted every time I upload a video. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow the stream and check to see if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. You can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and sub to any channel you want once a month for free. Do it on my channel. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.